Hey guys, today I have an app review or app comparison for uh, music available for the Samsung Galaxy S3. I have two apps. First one would be the Google Play Music, the other one would be the Samsung Music Player. And let me first show you the Samsung Music Player, uh, the Music Player app which comes for the Samsung uh, Galaxy phones. And um, before going into the app, let me tell you about my music collection. Uh, I have about 10 gigs of the music stored on my phone and uh, that's a pretty large music and I've seen a little bit of delay uh, while showing up the album art um, uh, in the app. Um, the thing about uh, the delay is I haven't seen the sort of delay in my iPhone but I see some delay present in this app and I was just showing how uh, the interface looks like when you play a song. So you have all the music controls available on the screen and uh, you do have the control bar, the music controls available all the, on the screen at all times. So when you browse for the songs, you do have the controls. And let's rotate the screen and see uh, how it looks. You have the album art on the left and controls on the right. Pretty neat. And, um, and uh, what else? Um, so you have all the basic control shuffle uh, going to the list and uh, yeah, pretty neat. And when you long press on the song, you get various options for the song, setting it as a ringtone or adding it to a list or a quick list. There's no cue option though. Uh, and uh, what else? Mm, yeah, let's go to an app and let's come back to the music app. Let's see how it behaves when you switch apps. So basically when you switch apps you still have the same screen what we, what you had previously and now let's take a look at the widget uh, for this app pretty good widget i'd say you have the album art when you tap on the widget it would be redirected to the app and also in the widget you can scroll for different songs and you do have play pause next and previous track options pretty neat um yeah let's take a look at the google play music this is a pretty good app except that it has one or two bugs which uh, for which I'm not using this app really but it is a pretty good app and it has lots of good features and uh, there you go that's the first bug what I have when you rotate the screen all the album art would be missing and so when you come back you still have no album art or no song information showing up for this song and it would be only gone when you switch the song same thing happens when you switch the apps as well so when you go to a different app like chrome here and um, when i try to go back to the music app there you go the same thing no song information and also one more thing uh, you need to tap on the song to get all the uh, controls so that is not good i mean you need to have the controls on screen at all times at least you know that duration of the song uh, on, on the screen at all time should be present. Um, well, that's not a bug, but that's a feature which I would recommend. Uh, so that's the bug, guys. I mean, the song information goes missing uh, when you switch uh, on the views from landscape to portrait and when, you're, when you rotate the phone. And um, nothing bad in here, but I don't know, maybe that's you know uh, getting me back from using this app but the app interface looks pretty pretty neat the app interface is pretty good and uh, it's pretty fast too you can see the difference yourself from the music player app to the google play music uh, app similar to the previous app you do have the controls on there and coming to the widget and i have a few complaints about the widget first thing it's pretty small it's not a resizable widget but when you take a look at the Samsung uh, Music Player app widget, it's resizable. And coming to the Google Play widget, it's not resizable. Only thing you have is the album art, the song information, like button, pause button, and an extract button. I would ha prefer uh, if Google had an option to customize the widget as well. Not just the basic information, but a few other things, like able to scroll through the music from the widget. and. Uh, something else and uh, also the look is not great it's pretty uh, basic 
And uh, the other main feature which I really like is the cloud uh, music option. Uh, Google uh, allows you to store 20,000 tracks on cloud. And I'll also show you the software which allows you to upload the songs directly from your iTunes library. Um, so there you go. It's the music manager app for Google Play. You have option for uploading, downloading, and a few other customizable options. You can choose a playlist available from your iTunes and whenever um, you add new songs to your iTunes library. This app automatically adds music directly from the iTunes library to the cloud. Currently I have about 1900 songs which is quite a large amount and Google has a limit of 20,000 songs to be stored on the cloud. And uh, that's all for free which is pretty good in my opinion. And uh, so that was the um, Google Play, and uh, except for the few bugs, I would prefer uh, uh, to use Play Music, but uh, since the bugs are there, I am forced to use the Music Player app by Samsung. So I hope Google comes out with a fix for that bugs, and I'm sure Play Music would be a pretty successful app. So that's it for the review.